Hello and welcome to my channel. I went to lose gaming. So I just, I believe yesterday or so, hit AR59. Look at that guys. That is the result of since release, plus a week or two. I've been doing max refreshes ever since then, every single day. And as such, we finally hit AR59 and we get a quick preview of how much it's going to take to get to AR60, which is 340,000 Adventure EXP. With some quick math, that's about 80 days or so of max refreshing, which is pretty insane. But, you know, we never, like I never would have thought, oh, I'd be AR-59 already, right? Especially when I started playing the game, and here we are. So we're actually going to grab these epic AR-59 rewards, and we're going to see what we get from these amazing rewards. You know, hundreds of dollars. Oh, well, actually much more than that, as well as months and months and months of grinding, and we are going to get one Acquaint Fate, guys. One entire Acquaint Fate. I'm hoping that it's going to be, I guess, a debate club or something. That's going to be pretty awesome. And we also got two Fragile Resin. This is actually kind of valuable, right? And then we have 30 Mystic Enhancement Ores, 21 of those things, and 50,000 Mora. So, all very epic rewards, and we're going to claim them. There we go, guys. The culmination of, I think it's been like a 10 to 11 months of playing this game. Right here. These are the rewards for all your time spent. But, as a bonus, we are going to use that Acquaint Fate as well as all of the other Acquaint Fates that I have. And there are actually a few things that I want from the standard banner. My Kaching is not a Constellation 6 yet, and some of these weapons, I think the Skyward Spine, the Skyward Pride, are not at Refinement 5, but all the others are. If we look at the history here, we can see that the last thing I got from this was the Skyward Harp. So we are starting over when it comes to the Pity, and um, hopefully we'll get a 5 star, but if not, maybe I will keep pulling until we do get a 5 star, but we will see how this goes. And we're just going to go through, and I guess I'll let a few of these play out. I know you guys provide me the feedback, hey, don't skip through them so quickly. But usually when I'm summoning for like a Constellation 6 character or a Refinement 5 weapon, you got to go pretty quick. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be there all day. And that's just, you know, <laughs> it'd probably be like a one to two hour summon session if you actually, you know, watch all these animation play. Uh, probably not that long, but you know, it's definitely going to take a while. There is another character that I do want, and it's Kaya. I believe I only have two constellations for him. Shockingly, and I have all the other standard, like Amber, um, Lisa, or whatever at Constellation 6. So it's really just Kaya left. That needs a few Constellations in order to get him to Constellation 6. And so far, not so great. Right, we've gotten Sucrose, we've gotten Favonius, uh, the Favonius Warbo, I believe. And, um, yeah. And we got another Sucrose, that's really interesting. Uh, Sucrose's splash art is actually really nice. I've never really taken the time to look at it, but beautiful artwork as always in Genshin Impact. They really never disappoint when it comes to that. Why don't we count the very last pull as the thing that I got from the AR59 uh, reward, that specific Acquaint Fate? Because yeah, I mean sure it's just all thrown into the pool of however many Acquaint Fates that was, but yeah. We're going to count the very last Acquaint Fate that I use as the AR-59 reward. And maybe it's going to be a Kaching. And we got a Rust, right? This is a great weapon for free-to-play or, you know, budget Yomiyas. And we've got 28 more. And it doesn't look like things are going particularly well. We have not gotten anything as remotely useful. But I mean, what can you expect? There's only literally two things that I actually want and then a few things just for collection purposes. We got Xin Yan. Um, that's pretty cool. She gives us five of these Masterless Star Glitter, which is always nice. That is one entire free pull. 
I actually opened my Discord up pretty recently. I'll have a link to that in the description below, and I've been asking some of the some of the people there what I should talk about in this video. And so far, it's really just been me rambling about nothing. But an interesting thing that you guys asked me to talk about is actually what to do during the end game. And coming from my perspective, it's a little bit different because you know um, I'm a content creator for this game as well as a pretty whaled account, right? So like my perspective is definitely going to be a little bit different. And this is actually kind of, in my opinion, a problem. Uh, there is a problem when it comes to the end game for me versus the end game for a lot of other players. And we're going to go one by one. That way we know what the last acquaint fate gives us. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying, for the end game for me, there's actually a lot for me to do. And the reason for that is because my account is capable of, for example, speedrunning and world record times, right? I'm able to compete in that very, I guess, uh, I kind of hate to say this, but like kind of like a, uh, the whale or Leviathan club, right? Because you really do need like a lot of these characters at Constellation 6, Refinement 5 weapons and stuff like that to be able to compete at that top, top level of speedrun times. Right, we're talking like um, 10 to 13 second, 12 one one times. We're talking like the OG Abysses, like five or six second clear times. Right now, there are some, you know, lower budget players that can compete in, the, in that regard. Uh, like for example, back then when you could one shot with a Constellation Zero Child, right? But you know, those, are, those situations are very niche and specific. And that's the thing, is that for everyone else that's like not at that kind of mega whale or mega leviathan level where they can speed run and actually compete with the top times, you know, yeah, what do you do, right? Like, sure, you can, you know, do an abyss run a little bit quicker, right? But it's kind of, it's it's not quite the same as, as in like setting a world record. And this is it. This is the last acquaint fate. So we're going to pull this and we're going to see what we get. Here it is, hoping for a Kaching. Alas, it was not Kaching. It was the slingshot, guys. This is my AR-59 reward. After so many months of playing and grinding in this game, we have gotten the slingshot. Pretty epic, pretty awesome. But why don't we actually keep going until we get that five star? We're gonna go here, we're gonna get some. And oh yeah, I was talking about um, <laughs> I'm using I'm using uh, my star glitter on the acquaint fates. I think some of you guys are gonna see that and you know absolutely gonna give you a massive headache just from seeing that. And yeah, I don't blame you at all. So we're just gonna do a few one pulls to round it off to do temple. But anyway, like I was saying, right? If you're not at that mega whale Leviathan speed running competitive account level. Right, you can do, you can get some quicker times or, you know, things like that. But really, yeah, there isn't as much to do for players like that. And also, you know, I'm a content creator and I do some theory crafting for this game as well. Both of those things definitely take up a lot of my time. Right, so for me, you know, end game is in an Excel spreadsheet. And oops, uh, old habits die hard. I decided to skip that one. And yeah, you know, I spend a lot of, I guess, my end game time in Excel sheets, you know, figuring out what I want to do with various characters, mathing them out, um, stuff like that. And I think, what are we at now? Uh, we started off with 50, I believe seven or 58. And then we did a uh, two temples. So we are at um, 80, is that correct? So uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much, why don't we do one by one? I almost never do single pulls, but let's give it a, let's give it a try. Um, we got Bennett, most overpowered character, but yeah, so like I was saying, right, end game for, you know, players that don't theorycraft, players that don't make content, um, players that don't speedrun, I can definitely see that being a bit barren, and for me personally, because of, you know, the combination of all the stuff that I said that I do in this game, right, I still haven't done, like, most of the world quests in Inazuma, you know, I fairly recently finished the story because, my gosh, I just do not have the time for all this, right? And 
Um, but for everyone else, right, you guys just get through the story in a few days because you don't have these videos that take a lot of time to make to, you know, pump out. And my gosh, I think we uh, are at like 80 something. We got Gene. Awesome. So we got five more polls uh, for that because Gene is at Constellation 6. No luck. We have not gotten the elusive Kaching. But yeah, so I definitely understand that perspective and that complaint because if I wasn't making content, if my account wasn't at the level that it is today, being competitive to, you know, even accounts like Tony 2's, then yeah, I honestly wouldn't have that much to do, right? I would do my abysses, I would, you know, try to build the characters, do my daily farming, resin stuff, right? All that stuff, maybe farm some materials, mine some ores, and those things definitely take time, right? But they do not eat up, you know, all your time. And in my opinion, I think that's a great thing, right? Because Genshin Impact actually kind of helps promote a little bit of balance in terms of your um, time spent playing this game, right? It actually limits you. And for me, right, for my kind of um, personality where when I get into something, I really get into something and I just spend a lot of time playing that game, you know, neglecting my wife, neglecting my kid, all that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, now now I have a kid, right? So now I can neglect him. And oh my gosh, this fireworks like tracked it all the way up there, but it didn't actually hit it. Uh, that's a, that's a shame. I guess next time I should charge it first before shooting the first one to scare the second one. Oh, there's something interesting as a composition that I wanted to show you. And that is my Sayu. She has the Song of Broken Pines at Refinement 5. And, you know, not really the most pragmatic uh, support, support build. But we're just going to see how it goes. Because... Kill me with attack speed is pretty funny. Like, look at that. Look at how fast she was shooting with the Song of Broken Pines um, attack speed buff. But just a fun support build for uh, for Sayu. Almost said Yomiya. Not sure why I was getting them mixed up. But yeah, she can equip the Wolf's Gravestone. She can equip the Song of Broken Pines. Of course, neither of them give really the same amount of benefit as Kazuha does, right? Kazuha just gives so much more. But nonetheless, it is a fun and interesting way to play support Sayu. And it's obviously not accessible to a lot of people. Oh, like I was saying, oh, no, no, no. I already scared them away. That's that's a shame. But can we get this one? We got it. Wow, those fireworks are... Uh, we, we have a meta use for these fireworks because there's no way I'm shooting those birds out of the sky without those fireworks, right? I mean, this this charge attack is like a meme, right? And it's actually funny. Mihoyo has really recently tried not to power creep characters and honestly I think this is a good thing but sometimes it takes it a little too far and what do I mean by that? Yoamiya does not even power creep Amber in, in the charge attack department right so we're I believe Amber has better damage output with her charge attacks than Yoamiya does Right, so if you still want a charge attack, main DPS, pyro character, bow user, right, Amber is going to be better than Yomi, especially at Constellation 1, is it, or whatever, where she shoots that second arrow that does 40%, um, that does 40% more damage, right? And also you can just stack a ton of crit damage or whatever on Amber, and she also gets the attack percent ascension bonus. So what that all means is that Amber's charge attacks, you can just shoot a weak point and you'll be doing more damage than Yoamiya's, or at least more DPS than Yoamiya's, you know, level 2 charge shots, which is pretty funny in my opinion. And yeah, um, that's honestly a good, both kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Because like, you know, we're seeing a lot of people complain about Yoamiya's performance, which is completely understandable, right? And oh man, I'm getting, uh... I'm getting wrecked here, so I should actually pay attention a little bit. And yeah, you know, we're seeing like a lot of people say that Yomi is underperforming and all this stuff, right? Which, you know, I can definitely understand that perspective. And sometimes I feel that way as well. Yeah, they are trying to not power creep characters in their specific niches, right? Like Amber's charge attacks are still better than Yomiya's. And, you know, even with the release of future Electro characters, like perhaps Bale and stuff like that, you know, 
I wouldn't be surprised if a character like Lisa still holds on to specific niches. Like Lisa, for example, right now is the best overall damage enhancer for Eula, right? Like she can equip the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer with the defense down, along with a bunch of other stuff, right? So she provides overall the best damage amplification for Eula for her burst, right? So that is, you know, a niche that she's probably going to hold on to even after Bale is released. And in my opinion, that's a good thing, right? It's great to see a lot of these characters not necessarily get power creeped into 100% irrelevancy. I could just keep talking about so many things for such a long time, but I'm going to wrap this one up. In the end, we got a slingshot for my AR-59 reward, which is pretty epic, right? I'm pretty happy with that as a reward. And we also got Jean after spending a few Primo gems and, you know, the star dust or star glitter or whatever. So, yeah, we didn't get the Kaching that we wanted. We didn't get the Kaya we wanted or the Skyward Pride. Actually, let's take a look at my weapons real quick. We didn't get the Skyward Pride, which is at refinement four. And we also did not get the Skyward Spine, which if I combined them, it would be at refinement three, right? So those are the only two standard banner weapons that I have that are not at refinement five yet. And oh yeah, in case you were wondering, you know, my Yomi is built. Right now she has the refinement one, Thundering Pulse, and you know, I didn't even show you guys her stats and stuff. It's kind of rude of me. Hey, she, here's her attack, and she has six, 262. Oh, okay, yeah, that's because of the Thundering Pulse, I was about to say. 262% crits, pretty outrageous, but she has a lot of crit damage artifacts. Uh, crit damage focused artifacts right here they are um pretty solid artifacts but i still don't have a good shimano's reminiscence which is very sad to me because naomi is basic attack damage do a, a lot more with that with that set so yeah anyway um thanks for joining me today sorry guys it's been super hectic for me you know with the new baby and everything and unfortunately did not get to get out that Yomiya guide that I wanted to in time and right now because of how late that guide would be coming you know I'm not even sure it's necessarily worth um, making because yeah the other content creators that have made guides on her have done a great job go check out I think Asian guy Genshin did one it looked pretty good to me as uh, Zeox as always very reliable solid guides and you know I honestly don't have too much to add on top of what they said uh, I think actually Asian guy Genshin did have a different perspective from Zeox, which is, hey, you know, why necessarily compare Hu Tao to Yoamiya, right? Why not just use both? And I really like that idea, right? There's a lot of situations where you would, you would want to use both. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys joining me and sorry I didn't have a full guide video on Yoamiya, but there's a few videos that I do recommend to watch instead of a guide that I would make. So as always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.